take a look at that horn and it looks like it's almost steel. Hey, Javier, can you kind of jump in the picture there and go up to the net? And <laughs> no, buddy. No, get it close to you. Go. So, so this is a rhino horn, and you can kind of see a rhinoceros. It's right out there. And so whenever you have this and glass, it's a, it's a whole different realm of glass and, the, and what you have to do. Because this is so hard and stiff that if it has any type of velocity, there's no compression of it and it can shatter and break glass. I remember a project that we had in Oregon, in the Oregon Zoo, and we had to design for rhino glass and we had about a three foot span that the architect was trying to achieve and it ended up that we just could, we couldn't get it done because they'll tear up Jeeps. So we had to lower that glass and make it smaller to get it out of the range of the actual running whenever this would be up in the air. So we had to get that down out of the range of that horn. And so it's one way of being able to mitigate the impact load on glass.